Hello everyone. Welcome back to Team Kid. Today our story comes from the book of Luke. Luke is in the second half of the Bible in the New Testament. And our story today comes from Luke 10 verse 25. And in our story today, Jesus is talking with a group of men and they are asking him, Jesus, what must I do to get to heaven, to get eternal life? And Jesus tells him this, Love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. And one of the men asked, Well, what do you mean? Who is my neighbor? And so Jesus tells him a story. And this is the story that Jesus tells. He talks about a man going from Jerusalem to Jericho. And he sets out on a journey and he travels along a very pretty highway. You can see the trees and the road. Now this man travels for a while and then he is suddenly attacked by robbers. And these robbers beat him up and take all of his stuff and leave him laying there by the road to die. Well, there he is laying there. He can't get up and help himself. And along come the, down the road comes a priest, a man of the church. And he sees that man there on the road. And you know, he goes to the other side of the road and walks on. He doesn't even stop. And the man continues to lay there. Pretty soon someone else comes by. And that man is what we call a Levite. He is also a man involved in the church. He stops and he looks, and he goes to the other side of the road too. He doesn't stop and help. Both of these men of the church walk right by and don't even do anything for the hurt man that's lying there. Pretty soon here comes another man, and this man is leading a donkey. He looks at the hurt man there by the side of the road and he stops. And he stops and he helps him. He tends to his wounds. He bandages up him up as much as he can right there. Tries to clean him up a little bit and realizes that the man can't go on by himself. He needs more help. And so this man with the donkey loads him up on the animal and takes him to town. When he gets him to town, he takes him to an inn, like a hotel. And he checks the man in, gets him a room, and stays with him to take care of him. Now when they get up the next day, this man with the donkey has to go on his way. I'm not sure where he was headed, but he had some business he had to attend to. So he went on, but he left this injured man staying in the hotel. And he went up to the man at the desk and said, here, here is some money. I want you to allow this man to stay as long as he can until he gets better. And if you need more money, the next time I come through town, let me know and I'll pay for it. Wow, this man on the donkey really took care of the injured man. And he had a lot to contend with. He had the man laying there hurt, injured, but he stopped and helped. And this is even just more amazing because the man that stopped to help was from Samaria. Now, for some reason, the people of Samaria were kind of looked down upon and nobody wanted to associate with them. But this Samaritan, whom everybody would have looked down upon, stopped to help the man that the others wouldn't stop for. Now, after this story was over, one of the men asked, Is that story about the neighbor you were telling me about? Is that what you mean by love your neighbor? And Jesus asked them, Which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell into the hand of the robbers? He answered, the one who showed mercy to him, the one who helped him. 
Then Jesus told him, Go and do the same. Love your neighbor as yourself. Now, when we think about that, helping our neighbor, when you think about missionaries and where they go and who they help, that leads us to our missionary moment. And our missionary moment today, I think you'll have a guess where our missionary moment leads us today. And that's right, to Mexico. And what I put on right here is a sombrero. That's a hat that people in Mexico wear. It's really wide-brimmed and keeps the sun off of them because it is so hot in Mexico. Now, if you wondered where Mexico was, here you go. This is Mexico. Now, up here is the United States. This is actually Texas. Down below Texas is Mexico. And some interesting facts about Mexico... Mexico has 31 states. Remember, the United States has 50. Mexico has 31 states. It has 128 million people. The national animal of Mexico is the golden eagle. U.S. has the bald eagle. Mexico has the golden eagle. The language of Mexico is mostly Spanish. And 82% of the people that live in Mexico are Catholic, okay? Now, we have had missionaries from Lighthouse Baptist Church go down to Mexico. One that we supported was a man named Paul Deem. Now, we would give him things to take down to Mexico. He would go down there and give those items. They might have been Bibles. There were some scripture verses, um, things that the people in the towns needed to get churches started because that's what Paul Deem liked to do. He liked to go down there and start churches. He's associated with Direct Line Ministries. And some of you might remember that at Christmas time, we would always do the joy bags, the Christmas bags. Well, Paul Deem started taking those to Mexico when he first started doing the joy bags. Now he sends them to a lot of countries, but at first he started with Mexico. Now, what do the missionaries do besides Paul Deem down in Mexico? Like I said, he helps to start churches. They help to start schools. They help the people learn the English language. They bring them Bibles. And that shows loving your neighbor. The Mexicans are our neighbors. And Paul Deem and the other missionaries that go there love thy neighbor. Now, in our story of the Good Samaritan, the Good Samaritan that stopped to help the injured man, he was showing kindness to a man he didn't even know. He was showing kindness to a man that was a complete stranger. So, neighbors can be people you've never met before. When Paul Deem went down there to Mexico, he didn't know all of those people. He was meeting them. He was meeting a lot of them for the first time. But what was most important was he was telling them about Jesus. And remember what Jesus said. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Now, some people think, oh, gee, that's an awfully long verse. Let's shorten it a little bit to something that makes just as much sense. Love God and love people. Show the people love, and when they see your love, then maybe they'll want to love God too. So, that is our story for today. Now, there are some things I'd like to talk about. One of them is, on August 2nd at the church, on a Sunday afternoon, we are going to have a drive-in 
VBS, a drive-in vacation Bible school. Now, when you kids come to the door, you'll be able to get a packet of all the things that you would have done at vacation Bible school. I mean, that includes crafts, that includes the paperwork, that includes candy, that includes all of the things, even the music. Remember how we would stand and do the motions to the music? Well, there'll even be a CD with music on it in the packet. And to provide some entertainment while you're there, we have the Kona ice truck coming. And so each of you that come to get the packets will get a free Kona ice. Hopefully it'll be a beautiful day, but even if it isn't, we are still having VBS. So it will be on Sunday, August 2nd, from 2 to 5, right at the church, on a Sunday afternoon. So I hope to see all of you there. Bye.